Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I have got an empties video. I'm using not my old phone that I normally use these days for filming actual makeup videos. So if it's going in and out of focus, I'm truly sorry. So, let's just crank on. Oops. The first thing I have got here is this hair dye. So this is the Clairol Nice and Easy Cream Permanent Natural Looking Colour in 8WR Golden Auburn. Now, I know it doesn't look that shade right now because if you're not new to my channel, I also buy the Glaze Colour Gloss Conditioner in the shade Cherry Glaze, which I pop on over it because I prefer this kind of ready tone. So, yeah. But if you're, this colour is nice enough, but it just wasn't enough for me. And it says it 100% covers grey. That's not true. There you go. I have also finished up this. This is the Body Shop Coco Calming Face Mist. Hydrate Soothe and Makeup Friendly. This is my second one of these. It is very, very nice. And I pop it in the fridge so that it's nice and cool for a little spritzy, spritzy, spritzy. Lovely. I also love coconut. I have also finished this. This is the John Frieda Overnight Miracles Repair and New Hair Mist. Weightless nourishing and soothe split ends for fine thin hair with soothing lavender and sandalwood. It does hee haw, as the Glaswegians would say, which means it does nothing. It smells lovely, but it does absolutely bugger all for your hair, so I would not get that again also finished this. This stuff is brilliant. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Dry Shampoo, eh, sorry, Conditioning Shampoo for Dry Damaged or Colour Treated Hair. It is brilliant. It is formulated with ethically sustainable source ingredients. No sulfates, no parabens, no, no faucets, no gluten, no mineral oil, no dyes. It is absolutely brilliant. I don't know how much it is because I got this big 500 milliliter when cherries were still on the go and they no longer do any of that. But if you can get a hold of this shampoo, then I do recommend that. The next empty is a hair mask. I think I got this in, I want to say Home Bargains, could it go in there more than b and it's the Gregton's Made in England Pro Keratin Professional Hair Care Repairing Deep Treatment Mask with Keratin Rescue and Repair Dry Damaged Hair by Intensively Moisturising. Again, I don't really know that it did too much, but I got it to try. Also finished, though there is the tiniest bit in there, but it wasn't coming out. So anyway, lost the lid for it. It's the Body Shop Drops of Youth Environmental Protecting like hydrating face mist. This is a brilliant mage. I do believe they've changed the name to Elder Vice. Oh, I just love, oh, I think that wee last bit's gone off. But it is awful. This, however, was absolutely brilliant. I was kindly sent this by a lady uh, who is part of the same makeup group that I'm in on Facebook because before I was doing all this and dying, my hair was just a riot. So she sent me this. This is the Aveda Dry Remedy Moisturising Mask. Saturate hair with intensive moisture and seals it in and use it once a week. It is really, really good and it lasted me ages. And it smells divine. It smells like a luxury spa. Oh, so good. So I don't, again, know how much this is. I can find out if anybody wants to know. You can let me know in the comments. But it's really, really good. So I would repurchase that. I also finished this. This is the conditioner that comes with the hair dye. It's a CC Colour Sealant Conditioner. This was quite nice. It actually does make your hair feel nice and smooth and luxurious. Oh, I feel like I need to burp. See this hair in there though. Excuse me. I finished off this. I was sent this sample, 25ml of the Nivea Soft 
refreshing with soft moisturizing cream for face, body, hand. I literally have just finished this and it was brilliant. I've used this cream before on my hands, but I've never used it on my body, my face, and it's really, really good. I would happily use it again, didn't irritate my skin or anything. I like the smell of it, it's just a subtle, like standard sort of cream kind of smell. Enjoyed that. Oh, love this. I have got this multiple times. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you're looking for a face scrub that you can also use on your lips, that's got just the right amount of grittiness, this is for you. It is the L'Oreal Smooth Sugars Clear Scrub and I get the Kiwi one. It purifies and lifts blackheads and it's divine. Oh, I just want to eat it. So good. I believe I have another one in the cupboard there. Love it. I have finished off this. This was in the Advent Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. This is the Emma Hardy Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist Anti-Pollution. This was nice enough. The mist on it is so violent though. I don't know if there's enough to... Oh, now it comes out nicely. No, it like spurts at you. So that's the only thing I don't like about it is the mist. -er. Finished up another one of my ibuprofen gels. I get this on repeat prescription from the doctor for my fibromyalgia pain. What more is there to say? <laughs> Finished up a Dove deodorant. I do like Dove deodorants, but I go between Dove and Sanex. Just whatever's on offer or I can get. So, self-explanatory, I suppose. I finished up this that I was kindly sent by another MUA. She doesn't do YouTube, but she's on Instagram. She's fantastic. Lovely, lovely person. You totally should go and check her out and hopefully I'll remember and I'll put her link down in the description. She is a Helen Willis. If you're watching Helen, hi and thank you. She sent me a lovely parcel of stuff to say thanks for supporting her all the time. And this is the Glowish Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. So this is basically like a liquid exfoliant so it's different to the L'Oreal one. You put it on your face dry and then it all pulls up and it gets rid of the dead skin. It was very nice. I've got another one in the cupboard, which I believe, I don't know if it's limited edition because it's gingerbread scented, but yeah, this was nice as well. Oh, my lips are so dry. Finished up a lip balm from the body shop. This is watermelon, it's one of my favorite scents. These are okay. I wouldn't say they're groundbreaking, but they're all right to have. This I did not like and I haven't finished, but I got it in the Sephora like beauty kit thing that you pick. This is the Gaisu, is that how you say it? Gaisu Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. I don't like it. I don't like it. It smells disgusting. It doesn't even smell of honey and it's like a cream product and it's just, ugh, though the little bottle is cute. But no. I finished up this, I hate this camera, this is from a Korean brand that my friend Laura sent me to try from the Korean shop that she's got near her in America. This is the Plump Flower Revitalising Toner, it was very nice, a bit too um, fragranced for my liking, it didn't irritate my skin and I do like a nice, oh my back, smelling product but personally for me, yeah, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't personally get it again, but I'm grateful. Oh, excuse me. I am grateful for being gifted it to try. Something's leaked in here, is it? Let's get this out. I have a sample. This came with the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I can't say much about it because it was only a sample. But if it's anything like the other Drunk Elephant, the Pro Propolis cream, then I'm sure it is very, very good. And I'm actually going to put that in the bin. Woo! We have another Dove. What's to say? I finished up this Clinique. A take the day off cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. Balm form formula is the best ever. Love this. Again, got that in a sample service. 
would highly recommend it and would totally repurchase it. I would even repurchase the bigger size, even though I know, I know it is pricey. Cleansing balms for me are the way forward. I finished up this cream. I'm not sure where I got this from. I'm not sure if I won it in a giveaway on the beauty page, the makeup beauty page on Facebook or whether it's one of the items that Sabrina sent me. But this is the Lancome Hydra Zen Anti-Stress Moisturising Cream with SPF 15. I love this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Again, it's got that nostalgic smell. Like, you know, you know back in the day when your mum would use like Pond's cream or something like that or oil of Olay. It's just got that proper nostalgic feel to it. I have also finished this. And I cannot tell you what it is because I was sent to test it out and I haven't heard back from them on their studies or what it is. All I know is that it's a facial cleansing cream and the study number. And all I can tell you is that it took my makeup off brilliantly. It didn't irritate my skin. It is a cream, so it's not my favourite type of what have you, but there you go. I also finished this as well. This came in a Black Friday Look Fantastic box. And this is the Hydrating Facial Glow by the brand Mine. And it's a rose infused rose water facial tanner. It was okay. I must have liked it. I used it all. I don't really like the smell of it and I'm not a big fan of rose, but I know it's good for your skin. Oh my God, I thought I was recording there. <laughs> But I've used it up and I probably would use it again if I was given it. Oh, this makes me sad. I love this. This is from Asda. It is the number two relax with white citrus, white iris and citrus scented room spray. Contains natural essential oils. Oh my God. It smells divine. I'm gutted it's gone. Any more? Wee bit. I believe it's £6 or £6 for two. I really have to go to Asda and see if I have more because this was the balls. Anything else lurking? Two wee things lurking. I finished up this Lancome. I love minis. This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentrate Youth Activate Concentrate. So it's like a serum. This was nice enough. Definitely won't be repurchasing it though because oh my god would I have to take out a mortgage or I don't even mean a mortgage alone that's how much my head's all like Ooh. but it was very nice I can see why people like it <laughs> oh yes we can get in there that's so cute and this is in the empties it isn't empty but it is dry as bone this is the NARS orgasm but it's so, so dry, there's just no working with it and I don't really use it, so it's going. And that is everything. So if you enjoyed my empties, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I'll see you next time. Bye.